All right, I understand we want to go live to Jennifer Mobilia, who is live in the Buffalo area. Is she at the airport? Okay, Jen's live at the Buffalo Niagara Airport. Jen? Hi, Sean, yes. Yeah, hi, Sean. I'm outside of the Buffalo Niagara International Airport. Now, we already know that any time you fly, there's a little bit of frustration. But uh, today, because of that, we're on the rain. A lot of frustration here outside of the airport. And that's because, as we've been reporting, millions of Americans were expected to fly to their Thanksgiving destination. But as the investigation unfolded on the Rainbow Bridge, authorities weren't taking any chances. They at the airport, checking every vehicle that was coming in. They were checking the trunks and back seats, looking for anything suspicious, anything that may have been related to the incident over on the Rainbow Bridge. And to add to the confusion, the FAA at one point set out an alert saying that all international flights in and out of Buffalo were being suspended. However, just within the last hour, Governor Kathy Hochul saying that was not the case. No cases were ever suspended here. Now, during the investigation, all four of the international bridges going into Canada were closed to traffic and holiday travel frustrations just adding. We can tell you at this time, all of those bridges, including the Rainbow Bridge, have since reopened to traffic. And back here, live outside the Buffalo International Airport, as you can see, traffic is back to normal, which is good news for a lot of people because we know a lot of people from the Erie area come here to fly to their destination. And I can tell you, Sean, on Interstate 90 getting here, that is no joke. There is definitely a lot of people out on the road getting to their Thanksgiving destination. Reporting live outside the Buffalo International Airport, Jen Mobilia, Jet 24 Action News. Yeah, one more big snag on what is already a tough day out on the roads. Jen, thank you.